we move on to like the specific hyperparameters used for training this whole uh, framework. So the pre-training of SimClear is done using a LARS optimizer. Uh, LARS is basically a much more stable version of SGT for higher learning rates. It's not exactly SGT, but it does stabilize the whole process uh, in a similar fashion. Like it builds on top of that. And once you have a really large learning rate, a standard SGT would never go to convergence. It would just like keep on diverging because it would never find that minima. But what LARS does is it normalizes the norm of the weights by the norm of the gradients. And that's how it like allows for much higher learning rates for large batch sizes. This is also quite common even for NLP pre-training stuff that you do a linear warm-up for the first few epochs, 10 in this case, and then you decay the learning rate using, using a cosine schedule. So how do you think about that? Is that basically that in the beginning, since you have a lot of noise, mm -hmm. you don't want to get stuck in some sort of like local min. So you are not going to take a lot of gradient updates. You're going to just kind of let the learning start. And then after a few epochs, once you're a little bit more sure about what you're doing and the representation is a little bit more concrete, then you can actually take that information and update uh, more aggressively. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I would agree with that. I don't have any other explanation for it right now. So, and like the final thing is the weight decay. Uh, one interesting thing, one interesting design choice that Simpler has is it uh, excludes uh, the normalization and the bias layers from weight decay of the optimizer. What that basically means is that you don't have a regularization constraint on those weights. So the batch normalization layers are basically free to move 